Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 4, part 222. In this segment, I'm going to be driving the Honda CRX SIR from 91 for our D class leg of the Asian Tour. So, uh, let's, let's just go to it, shall we? We, we know what's coming here D class cars, etc. Here's what everyone else is going to be driving. I think mostly upgraded from lower class cars, I think. And we're doing the same sections of the three tracks here. Uh, Alright, here we go. In our CRX, let's do this shit. So, five laps around Suzuki East for our first race, and we are a go. And, uh, yeah. So... Pretty decent start in our CRX. Not an amazing start, so not going to P1 immediately. Oh my god, this thing's a little bit rowdy. Oh boy. Alright, this is going to be an interesting adventure with this thing. Only made it up to fourth and turn into turn one. Just fucking grind against Watanabe here, don't mind me. Oh god, this thing is being a, a bit very twitchy and unstable. I need to get used to this, especially uh, after not playing this for about a week, maybe longer. Because holy crap. Okay, well I survived lap one, barely, now. Now I get back into the groove of things here, I can hopefully go for the lead and, uh, yeah, win this bitch. Let me just, uh, fly into turn one and damage my car a bit. <laughs> Fuck actually trying to pass Yoshida, let's just ram into this back. No big deal. And the CRX, I don't like the feeling of it at all. Is very floaty. Is is quite the creature. Like I feel like I can't get around the S's nearly as quickly as I would like to, or that as I feel like I can in this thing. I don't like it one. Okay, I don't need second gear at all. Holy shit. Out of the grass. It's an FF. Uh, this is a fairly new FF experience to me. Not used to FF cars feeling like this. Uh, front drive. Okay, well I managed to flav my way around Yoshida at least. to the rear of the car. So what you're saying is uh, there's a lot of weight to the front of this thing. I mean, it makes all the sense. Just have to deal with that weight distribution and this, the, the ass just hanging out. I mean, I'm not really, like, falling behind. Like, if I can just keep this thing under control, I'll absolutely be able to win. As my chair is just kind of slowly falling to the ground. The hydraulics in my chair are acting up again, and it's really fucking annoying. Like, it goes through a period where it's, like, fine, it doesn't do it, you know, it doesn't have any issues at all, so hello, just accelerating past uh, Takahashi, don't mind me. And then it just goes through, like, a couple week phase where the hydraulics just want to fucking die. It's really goddamn annoying. Okay. Falling behind Sasaki here. Trying to close the gap through the S's. Doing a good job. Gotta remember to slam on the brakes at the end of this right-hander. Oh, sneaking on the inside. Excuse me, Mr. Sasaki. I have no idea what kind of voice that was supposed to be, don't mind me. Let's 
Okay, got the lead. With one lap to spare. We're doing good, we're doing good. So final lap at Suzuka in the D-Class. Let's not go flying off into the gravel, thank you very much, okay. Whoa! It's about that ass happiness. No, oh, hello, Sasaki. Okay. You guys just battle amongst yourselves behind me. I'm gonna go on and win, alright? Be like the, uh, the wet race at Nürburgring, the ETCC. I, I just kinda win because everyone else is battling amongst themselves. Don't mind me. Hey, Itch. Okay. Off final turn. And the CRX. Definitely more than capable of winning. And I win. Yay! Nice. Okay, pretty close throughout the entire field, which is cool. Takahashi ended up falling all the way to 5th. Whoops. Oh well. So, that concludes race 1. Let's uh, just move on to race 2. Alrighty, time for race 2 uh, attempt 2. Did not win. Because I drove like crap. I really drove like crap, especially on laps 2 and 6. Like, I just kind of shit the bed everywhere. So, uh, let's try this again. Sakuba short, 6 laps. Going almost three wide into turn one yet again for the lead. This time Takahashi taking a wide line around, trying to go around the outside of Sasaki this time. And ooh, shit, Yoshida almost kind of cutting me off. Oh, hello, it's not now, Sato. God damn it! Fuck off. Okay, well, I'm in worse shape now after lap one than I was last time. And I'm not making it easy for myself either. I don't know what it is about this car and this sweeper, but I just fucking can't. I, I just can't at all. Okay, well, let's try our best here to see if I can, uh, rally my way to the front. Oh, okay, or that can happen. Yeah, th thanks for, uh, completely stopping Yoshida. I was trying to avoid hitting the back of Takahashi, but Jesus Christ, he just slammed on the brakes. Hey, Drifter. Heck yeah, new computer hype. Come on, car, just make it around the turn. Okay. Go, go, go. Just gotta close this gap on uh, Sasaki and Takahashi here. Which I can absolutely do. Oh, Takahashi going for the lead. Being a little aggressive and still not able to make the move. Went for a similar move in the last attempt, but he backed out way sooner than he did this time. Oh god. Unfortunately, I'm not able to capitalize because I was too far away. But now I'm able to make a move on Takahashi. Hopefully, I can complete the pass. There we go. Got him. 
Okay, now I have two and a half laps here to get around Sasaki. So I pretty much have no excuses. Excuse me, sir. Unless I do stupid shit like that. Then I still have no excuses, but... I have, uh, evidence to absolutely fucking ridicule myself. Anyways. Two to go. I've pretty much given up on trying to make overtakes into this turn because of their entry line. Like, a clean pass is impossible there because of how tight of a line they take into that turn. Again, same could be said. Uh, yeah. Okay, it's time to get aggressive. Come on, good exit, good exit. Okay, um, whatever I said last lap, uh, never mind. Let me just, uh, be Captain Aggressive here and, uh, dive. That was a very dumb dive. Playing guitar for w Showing off guitar skills for women. Did you get mad pussy, bro? Did the moist meter creep up? I don't know. Anyways, hey, I finally won this race. Okay, there we go. Man, that sweeper is awful in this car. Then again, I'm just bad at driving front-wheel drive cars in general, so I chose a real drive car for the ETCC. Anyways, two race three. Okay, time for our final race of the series. End of this segment, we are at Motegi West Circuit, six laps. Let's try winning this on my first trial, though. I'll, eh. This will be definitely an easier track for my CRX, because I don't have to deal with a long mid-speed sweeper. Which is basically just certain doom for a front-wheel drive car. But it's got some longish straightaways here, so... I think the CRX has a little bit of straight line speed, maybe. Eh. Doesn't get an advantage until way too late in the straightaway to matter. Meanwhile, 2x2 two two into the chicane, we go. With Yoshida getting the better of Sasaki here. Whoop. Excuse me, sir. That's what you get for trying to pinch me. So CRX is cool. I like it. I don't like driving it, but I like it. aesthetically. I like it. Come on, get around Takahashi and his Mitsubishi. Or he could just drive away. Get the amazing exit, that works too. Come on. Oh shit, getting very close. 
very much into ass touching territory without actually touching his ass. Get out of the grass. And there we go. Got the lead. That's got to hold it for three laps. It shouldn't be too hard at all. Oh. Hey, Q. Nice name change. Nice meme, my dude. Oh shit, how you doing, Takahashi? I was way too early on the brakes. I should not shift to that soon. Oh well. Oh well. Two to go. Kota Mitsubishi. Yes. Let's just use second gear. Third gear is way too low revving. At that speed. Just bogs the fuck down. Okay, and final lap. <sighs> okay. Why is Titch saying that I'm offline? What the fuck, Twitch? Crap. Sliding into the final turn. Sliding into those DMs. And... Cross the line. Very nice. Oh, there we go. It fixed itself. Okay. That was weird. Yes, hey, I won. Pretty tight. The entire field, all three races. Very nice. Very nice. I saw Yoshida finish seventh in this race. Whoops. Oh, well, for him. There we go. Nice victory. I was going to say dominant. Well, that was kind of dominant, I guess. Considering I took the lead at the end of lap three. So there we go. That was um, the Class D. Asian Tour, so next time on Forza 4 we'll move on to Class C and hopefully drive a much more stable car. Stay tuned for that.